Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a car rental website. The platform that we'll be using to make our website is none other than Wix. The reason why I recommend Wix is it is beginner friendly, easy to use and you can also get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. All you'll need to do once on Wix.com, you can create an account using your email address. Once you have created an account, you are going to tap on Create New Site in the top right hand corner. Then I want you to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After selecting Create on Wix Editor, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you're going to tap on Set Up Without AI. After selecting Setup Without AI, you are going to tap on the search bar and from here since we are creating a car rental website, we are going to simply type in car rental and then we are going to select car rental company. Then tap on next. After selecting next, you are going to be redirected to your Wix dashboard. Once on the Wix dashboard, I will be showing you how to add your business name and also how to set up booking, how to accept payments and numerous other features that is available on Wix. But one small thing that I should add, to accept payments on Wix, you will need to go onto their paid plan. But before doing that, you can watch this tutorial, see how the interface looks and if it is to your liking, I do recommend that you go onto the paid plan as it is very affordable and it is also beginner friendly and easy to use. So we'll enter our store name right here. So we'll name it Test Car Rentals. Then we're going to tap on Next. Then from here, I'm going to tap on No, I'm just starting out. Then tap on Next. And from here, you can see the different type of products. It is asking whether you're going to be selling online or so on. Since we won't be selling online or anything like that, all I'll tap on is services right here. So we like to call it booking and so on. And we are going to be accepting online store and you can also select in person right here. Then tap on next. Then you're going to tap on continue to dashboard. After selecting continue to dashboard, you will now be redirected to the Wix dashboard. On the Wix dashboard, I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option. On the left hand menu option, we are going to simply scroll down and then you are going to see billing and payment. You would hover over that and you are going to select payments. After selecting payments, you are going to be redirected to this page. On this page, you are going to tap on manage payment methods. After selecting manage payment methods, you will see the different payment options that are available depending on the country you are located in. So for example, for Jamaica, I'll be able to add Tilopay and PayPal. If you'd like to offer more payment options, all you'll need to do is change your website location by tapping on change. So if I were to type in United States right here and select United States, then tap on choose, you can see that I now have more payment options that I can offer my potential customers. I can accept Wix payments, for example, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and by scrolling down, I will have PayPal. And I've, if I were to tap on see more payment options in the bottom left hand corner, I can also accept AAA, Afterpay, Affirm, and Clanarna. As you can see, there are numerous payment options that you can add. And as I stated earlier, you'll need to go onto the Wix paid plan to add these options so you can up accept payments online. Now to set up booking, you're going to select booking channels from the left hand menu option. After selecting booking channels, what you will need to do, publish your site to get booking online via booking channels. So what you'll need to do, you're going to tap on go to editor. Then you're going to tap on pick a template. And from here, you can see the different templates that they recommend. 
So you can scroll down until you see a template of your liking. There are numerous templates that you can choose from. So let's say, for example, I would like to use this template. All I need to do is tap on edit, then give it a few seconds while the AI composes your website in the background. From here, we'll simply tap on the X, but in the future, if you like Wix AI to compose articles for you, you could tap on the box and you could enter some information, then tap on generate site and the Wix AI will generate text that can be added. Now that we are on our website, as you can see right here, I want you to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on the plus 50%, you can start editing your website. So for instance, you can edit the front page by simply tapping on quick edit. After selecting quick edit, if you would like to change the vector art, you can tap on change and you can change it. You can also change the title, the paragraph right there. And you can also add your own social media links by tapping on set links. Now, if you would like to also change the image in the background, you can do that by tapping on the image, then select change section background. So let's say I would like to change it so I can tap on change section background, then tap on image. After you have done that, a pop up window is going to appear. And from here, you can either choose to upload media from your device or tap on the search bar. And I'm going to type in cars and from here you'll be able to add copyright free images that you can use from Wix. So let's say I want to use this image, then tap on change background. After I've done that, you can see that the background image has now changed as you can see right there. Now by scrolling down, you can edit other features. So for example, this section right here, the services section, you could tap on quick edit and from there you can change the title and you can also change the different vector arts and features. Or if it is a case that you would like to delete the entire section, you can also do that. You can delete a section quite easily. All you'll need to do is tap on quick edit, then tap on delete, or you could tap on the three dots from the bottom right hand corner, select more actions, and then from there, you can choose to delete it by tapping on delete right there. So let's say I were to do that. You can see that that section has now been deleted. And to view all the pages on your website, you will tap on home in the top right left hand corner. After tapping on home, you're going to scroll down and from here, see the sample services that are added. And we are going to be editing this. So we are going to tap on manage services. After tapping on manage services, you can see some sample services that they assume that we'd like to add, but I don't see any that I would say would correspond with car rental. You can see two hour vehicle rental right here. Scrolling down, we'll be able to add the price and so on. So this would definitely be a good rep representation for a car rental. So let's say for two hours, we'll be renting it for $100. Then you can scroll down, you could add a location if you want and so on where the person will be able to collect the car. So you'll tap on save. So let's tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once the changes have been saved, we're going to scroll back up and we're going to be adding other, we're going to be adding other services. So we'll redirect to the service page. So let's close that. I'm going to tap on add a new service in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on add a new service, from here you can simply select the two hour vehicle rental once more. After you have selected that template, we're now going to be editing it. So for example, you can see right here the name. So we will change the name to one day. So we're going to be offering one day rental one day vehicle rental and you could be more specific. For example, you could add Corolla rental or so on. 
then from here you are going to select the duration and you can select the duration right there i'm going to tap on custom and it will be for 24 hours then after doing that you will scroll down and you will add the fixed price right here so add the fixed price real quick then you'll tap on save once more in the top right hand corner and you can also add an image of the car that you will be offering for rental and that's how you'll be able to add the different vehicles that you would like to offer for rental and another thing that you can also do is you could create a booking form by tapping on edit form right where you see create booking forms and from here you can see a sample form now let's look at it so you can see right here here you'll be able to add your information by tapping on edit so for example you can add tell us about yourself or so on you can leave that as is and by scrolling down you can see the different form fields that you can ask your clients to fill out their name email address phone number and so on you can see right here these are good information to collect as you can see here these are the different informations that you can collect once you are finished you will simply tap on save so we will select save form right here and once the forms have been saved I am going to be showing you how to continue editing your website so you can see right there the booking forms have now been saved so we can go over to the left hand menu option and from the left hand menu option you can scroll up and by selecting booking calendar you'll be able to see when certain cars are booked and so on by selecting calendar right there now all you'll need to do is tap on the x in the top right hand corner and you can continue customizing your website to add anything to your website that you don't see at the moment, you could tap on the plus in the top left hand corner which says add elements. From here you'll be able to add text, images, buttons and so on. Anything at all that you would like to add to your website, you will find it in this section. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.